Do you face these problems while blowing your preforms? You feel helpless when you are unable to blow the preforms. Are you looking for a guide who will help you solve all your blowing problems? Would you want to know a secret which I, if you could tell your blowing operator, you would not have to worry about rejections? Well, today I am going to tell you about 4 common blowing problems and how they can be solved in the simplest manner. Hi, my name is Rohit Agarwal and I am the owner of General Pet Industries, your packaging partner. Over my 20 years of experience in manufacturing PET preforms and caps, we've helped over 100 blowers both in India and Nepal in maintaining their profitability by providing them the right price preforms and caps. We've, helped, we've guided them on how to identify and solve these four common blowing mistakes so that rather than focusing on the problems, they can focus on the thing they are meant to do, that is, growing their business. Today, we would be educating you on the same. Firstly, let's talk about pinholes. These bottles do not show any problem in their appearance and they blow properly. However, when the liquid is filled inside it, the liquid starts leaking from the bottle, from the base in the form of small drops. This leakage destroys the entire consignment of cartons and can cause huge damage to the mineral water oil manufacturer. The cause of this is simple. The stretch rod is touching the base of the mold. Now we need to look at the solutions. We need to make sure that there is a minimum gap between the stretch rod and the base of the mold. It is quite possible that while the mold is running, this rod slips and touches the mold. Thus, this clearance needs to be checked every 4 hours so that this hole does not occur. Secondly, let's talk about neck constriction. It's a fold of material on the neck or the top part of the bottle. This fold may be very small or could be as big as the diameter of the stretch rod. This mainly occurs due to overstretching of the preform before the blow. While stretching the diameter of the preform shrinks and in the absence of air it touches the stretch rod which cools the material and traps it in the form of rain. Let's look at the causes. Number 1. Low pressure blowing, pre-blowing is missing or delayed. Secondly, heat settings needs to be adjusted. Thirdly, stretch rod may be bent. Now let's look at the solutions. Number 1. We need to move pre-blowing or low pressure blowing earlier or increase pressure. We need to increase the pre-blow -pre flow. Thirdly, we need to decrease temperature of the neck and increase heat in the body. Fourthly, we need to check straightness of the stretch rod and change the rod if it is necessary. Now the third problem is the feet not fully formed. This occurs mostly in cold drink bottles when the feet is not fully formed. As a result, the bottle may not fully stand and become unstable. Thus, the capacity of the bottle may reduce. Now let's look at the causes of this. Number 1. Insufficient main blow pressure. Number 2. Excessive pre-blow time. Most of the feet is formed during pre-blow, leaving the material cold during the high pressure blowing phase. Thirdly, insufficient compressed air supply. Now let's look at the solutions. Check the high blow pressure and increase if possible. Increase high pressure blowing time. Reduce base weight by reducing preform temperature and then increase preform lower body temperatures. Check pre-blow bottle size. This can be done by reducing high pressure blowing to zero. Move high pressure blowing earlier. Check the compressor. The next problem we face is off-center base. The gate center of the preform is off-center to the mold base. There is uneven wall thickness around the bottle circumference and the thinnest part will be opposite to the gate center. This is mostly because the stretch rod has lost control during the blow. Now let's look at the causes of this. Number 1. Pre-blow might be early. Number 2. Pre-blow pressure too high. Number 3. Low half of the preform too hot. Number 4. Stretch rod not set properly. Pre-blow time very low, going directly to high pressure blowing. Stretch rod diameter small, unable to control the preform. Bend preforms. Now let's look at the solutions. We need to reduce pre-blow pressure. We need to increase pre-blow delay. Raise pre-blow time in small increments till the problem is solved. If this video has educated you on solving your most common blowing problems, I request you to please share this video with your fellow blowers and friends. In case you need further help in solving any of the above problems, please leave a comment below so that our team could get in touch with you. Also, if you have any other blowing problems for which you need help, please post the picture in the comment section below. Signing off. See you in my next video.